Hello. Are you the type of person that is interested in diets and how one can, main, can lose or maintain weight in a certain period of time? Are you interested in food? Are you skilled in chemistry and biology? And if so, the dietetics profession is for you. A dietitian is someone who plans meals for people based on a certain set of restrictions so that the individual or group in question can receive the necessary amount of nutrients so they can perform at their highest level. His career is excellent because the salary is strong. You choose your work environment, the outlook is excellent, and the education required is rigorous. According to the Occupational Outlook Handbook, the median pay for, sat for nutritionists in 2010 was 53000 with the lowest 10% earning less than $33,000 with the top 10% earning more than $75,000. As with any job though, one will not find themselves at the median salary range at the beginning of their career. Those entering their first year as a dietitian will, are, will earn usually at or above the lowest 10% range, but not at the median salary. With years of work and dedication, one, one can find themselves at or near the top 10% range. The handbook also notes Nearly all dietitians work full-time, with about 20% working part-time. Working full-time as a dietitian means that you are working at or above 40 hours a week. And during that time, you will meet with patients, assess diets, and recommend to patients what they should and should not eat. Dietitians will work with patients who, are, who will be demanding, critically or terminally ill, or have mental health issues. Working part-time means you are working fewer than 30 hours a week, but working as a part-time dietitian, you will complete the same duties as a full-time dietitian, just not as with many clients. Furthermore, as a dietitian, the work environment is very flexible. Many people assume all dietitians will work in an office space, but some will work in a hot food preparation environment and stand for most of the day. In other words, dietitians will work in a nice air-conditioned environment where clients can feel comfortable while others will be in the heat of the kitchen. Dietitians will usually meet with the staff of wherever they work and conduct a meeting concerning the state of the establishment. These meetings consist of brainstorming meetings where they can brainstorm things and they, they can be talked about and through enough positive reinforcement they can be implement, implemented and carried out. An example of this comes right here from East Carolina University. The idea of a pirate-approved plate was proposed by one of the dietitians here at ECU. The pirate-approved plate is where students can go into the dining hall, see the recommended items to eat, and fill those plate, their, their plate with those items. The goal is to educate students on the right foods to eat, to maintain their overall health, rather than eating excessive amounts of fats and sugars in the form of french fries and cookies. Where one chooses to work is a whole other story. Many places hire dietitians to maintain employee health. Employment opportunities range from working at a hospital, at a school, or even in the United States military. In 2010, 32% of dietitians in America worked in the hospital, state, local, and private setting, while 15% were self-employed. Consultant and self-employed -dietit self dietitians have more flexibility in their work schedules. The job outlook for dietitians is very positive for the future. According to the Occupational Outlook Handbook, the field is growing by 20% from now to the year 2020. It is one of the fastest growing professions out there. Additionally, the number of dietitians and nutritionists, according to the Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics, was at 64,000. In 2020, the number is projected to increase to 77,000. This means the career is growing very fast over the next couple of years, and the field is going to get very competitive. So one must be at the top of his or her game if they want to become a registered dietitian. The education required to become a dietitian is quite difficult. A bachelor's degree is the entry-level requirement, but by the year 2024, a master's degree will be required. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics wants college students to be highly skilled and very knowledgeable of their field of study. College coursework includes science classes in chemistry and biology. 
These are heavily integrated to the degree here at ECU. Computer knowledge is needed for planning menus for clients and tracking progress. Other classes include communication, cultural foods, and life cycle nutrition, a class that focuses on what types of food people need in the different stages of life that they're in. In addition to the degree, one must complete a year-long internship roughly at 800 hours at a hospital or other place of work. Once those are completed, one is ready to take the registered dietitian exam. Once passed, you're ready to start working as a registered dietitian. Overall, this, degree, this career has the potential to grow and many people have had successful careers in this field. My recommendation is that one should consider this career because it has a lot to offer. We all love food, so why not major in the study of food?